I had to my supervision, so I thought I'd just uh, briefly explain kind of what supervisions are, because they talked a lot about something that's quite unique to Cambridge and, and Oxford, and there are other universities as well, so I'll briefly explain what they are. So in addition to about the 10 hours of lectures I have every week, I probably have maybe between one or two supervisions every week. I mean, economics tends to have less than other subjects. We'll probably have around two supervisions a week. Um, in that each each module will probably have one supervision every fortnight, and I have four modules. Um, and the way these supervisions work are you're usually given a sheet, so that might be an essay for modules like history and philosophy, there might be a series of questions for more maths based modules, more macro or micro economics. And so you do these questions, you hand them in, or you bring them with you, depending on your supervisor. And you just kind of talk through these questions, and they're meant to test your knowledge and understanding. You know, they're not, they're not form, they're, they're, they don't, they don't count towards your end of year score or exam or anything. Your supervisors, you know, you have like an indeterminate report, but that's just for you. It's not like, um, they're not something super serious, basically. You are expected to do all your supervisions and turn up to all of them, but it's not, uh, it's not a deal end all if you, if you miss a supervision. And you kind of just talk through, uh, ask any questions that you may have about the course. Um, you have office hours for that as well, but all of your supervisors are more than willing to answer any questions. And that's probably your first point of contact if you don't understand anything in your supervision. Just be like, I don't understand what you said here, could you please explain that? So, in terms of tips and tricks for your supervisions, I'd say um, it's important to know when your next one is uh, and plan based off that. Uh, and then you'll naturally fall into a system. So, for example, if you have one every Wednesday and Saturday, you might work for the one on Wednesday, it might be due on a Tuesday morning. Then maybe you take the afternoon off, and from Wednesday you might want to work on the one that's due Saturday. Some supervisions will take more time than others, so you want to plan for that as well. For me, personally, because I'm quite a slow reader, my essay ones will take longer than my maths ones, so I'll schedule more time for the essay ones than the maths ones. And you also might have clashes, you might have two, one after the other. So obviously you want to plan for that, you want to start working in more advance. Just basically like these, kind of creating a little calendar maybe, so that would be something that's very helpful for some people on the whiteboard maybe. Uh, so yeah, I'd say just yeah. know when they are and scheduling, and I'd say the most important thing is communication, because at some point the world will get on top of you most likely, you will maybe miss a supervision here or there. Um, my one thing I say to anyone who asks me is go to the supervision. If you haven't done the work, email your supervisor and say, I haven't had time to do this work, could I just come anyway, clarify some concepts? Um, I'd be very surprised if they said no. And when it comes to revising for your exams, if you haven't done the work for the supervision, but you've gone to the supervision, the concepts are knocking about in the back of your head and it's extremely useful. So my one piece of advice is always try and go to the supervisions, and that's followed by have open and clear communication. If you haven't done the work, you haven't done the work. If it's a regular thing, then you know, I mean, still communicate it, but at the end of the day, your tutor, your director of studies, and your supervisor are all there to help you understand and help you find methods to, you know, if it's due to procrastination or if it's due to bad time management or you've got too much on your plate, everyone's there to help you with this kind of thing. So supervisions are quite an integral part of your term in that for me everything I do is based around my supervisions. So I'm always working towards the supervision, I'll watch the lectures, then I'll do the reading, then I'll do the supervision. So I tend to structure my term around the supervisions. Other colleges uh, and universities also have a supervision system, some call it tutorials, some call it weekly sheets. Um, but supervisions are a brilliant resource to help you schedule a workaround and to kind of ask any questions that you may have.